Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the bill. To the bill. Colleagues, I rise today in support of doing everything we can for Oregon's kids. I will be voting in favor of this important bill, but with the acknowledgement that this budget still does not do nearly enough for Oregon's kids and families. The funds allocated in House Bill 5013 will provide critical support for child care and early learning, but so much more is needed. I believe I may have mentioned once or twice before that in my day job, I work as a pediatrician in Washington County, where I have the absolute privilege to see so many children be during the precious formative years of their early lives and beyond. I cannot emphasize enough that the development of children in the first five years of life is foundational to their opportunities and their outcomes across the rest of their lifetimes. And in a similar vein, the funding that we provide for children during their earliest years has a much bigger impact, a much higher return on investment than money we spend as they grow older. The critical nature of the early years are exactly why Oregon took the historic step to create a state agency, the Department of Early Learning and Care, or DELC, to focus on supporting children, families, and those providers in preschools and daycares and other programs and initiatives across our state. And this is our first budget for this nascent agency, and we need to pass it to help the launch. I won't go over what Representative Neron so ably laid out. But uh, we must know that when it comes to child poverty, access to child care, to righting historic wrongs, we can pay now or pay later. And the pay later option is much more costly as we seek to catch up, for example, the kids that experience child endangerment who, or who cannot read in the third grade or become justice involved at an early age. So we must go forward in supporting all the things that Rep. Neron laid out. And we also must provide living wages to those who work with our youngsters. This is currently not the case and why some providers reluctantly leave the childcare sector to earn more at Starbucks or an Amazon warehouse. You know, it strikes me that zero to five, that age group does not have clout. And if, if the clout that we see in some other constituencies, I think I know why. I was going to joke, it's because they don't know how to read and they pee their pants. But, uh, but really, what I think it is is that parents of zero to five year olds are tired, right? They're distracted by, by paying their bills, by, by doing a good job at work, by grocery shopping, and, and of course, by being the best they can for their little ones. There's no organized workforce that consistently engages with these toddlers who the, and who then comes and talks to legislators on their charges' behalf. So it's these last-ditch efforts to better fund programs that literally improve the upbringing and outcomes for our youngest Oregonians. So colleagues, let's increase the number of preschools who have access to quality classrooms. Let's better fund the programs for to toddlers who have suffered trauma. Let's make sure that when a mom wants to return to the workforce or to return to higher education, that we have a childcare slot ready for her child. So I urge and I vote. But I urge you all to learn more and then do more to improve the lives and futures of our younger constituents. Thank you.